Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here continuing to cook up this NBA action, man. Y'all know we do it on the jam session. We cook up every single game, every single day. Y'all also know I call a spade a spade here on the jam session. I let y'all know when I'm hot, let you know when I'm cold, let you know when I'm stagnant. In all honesty, I'm seeing the board extremely well right now. Yesterday wasn't the best day overall on the premium side. We got juiced. Went three and three. Um, what we did do, though, was cash another NBA player of the day. Shout out to the Indiana Pacers, man. Got down on the Milwaukee Bucks yesterday. The Halliburtons, as we love to call them here, man. We've been on them boys a ton uh, thus far this season, especially against Milwaukee. As you guys remember, I saw them boys play in Vegas in the in-season tournament. Um, and they've just been a thorn in the side of Milwaukee all season. But look. We're just trying to keep the momentum rolling forward, man. 38, 18, and 2 last 52 on that NBA play of the day. We've hit 7 of our last 9 on that NBA play of the day, man. Starting to heat back up, seeing the board well, man. Um, if you want that play, you guys can scoop it up over at Pick Dogs Premium. Small card today, man. Just two games. I'm here to smash them both per usual, though. If you appreciate the content, all I ask is that you smash that like button for your guy. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as I always say, if you rockin' with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long. There's a link for that in the description below. And of course, I have premium plays over at the site. Hop on something long term and let me help you make some money over an extended period of time. For my big betters out there, join my all access club. The information for that is in the description below. Text the number Jay's Full Court Press. We'll set up a time to talk and figure out if the package is for you. The guys that have been in the all access club, hey. They're enjoying some really nice profits, man, and I'm just trying to help you guys make some money. So if it's for you, we'll figure out if it's for you. Text the number if you're a bigger better out there and you can handle the volume of betting the NBA big nightly. Hey, but I appreciate all you guys the same. My, my small parlay betters, my uh, everyday just straight betters, my huge parlay betters. I rock with all you guys the same, man. We all got the same goal. Make some money betting sports, and that's why I love y'all, love my community. Let's continue to smash it, man. Let's smash both these games tonight. TNT night. Shaq, Ernie, and the crew should be a good night of hoops. Without further ado, man, let's make some money tonight, and let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. All right, man, let's do it. First game up, we got the Milwaukee Bucks out on the road facing the San Antonio Spurs. Spurs, nine-and-a-half-point home dogs in this one. Hey. If you've been watching the jam session for any duration of time, you know I hate the spot for both of these two teams. Um, I very rarely bet San Antonio. They're an awful basketball team. And like Mitch often says, they're bad, but they're often still overvalued because of the Wimby hype. It's kind of crazy that a team this bad sometimes is overvalued. Um, and that's why they are as bad as they are against the number as well. Um, they haven't been playing well. They've lost four of their last five. Um, three of their last four were out on the road. Don't like the spot for San Antonio. I very rarely look to bet them. More often than not, we are looking to fade San Antonio. But on the flip side of that, man, you guys know I hate laying double digits with the Bucks. I feel like they're an overvalued team as well. Um, they don't play the defense required most of the time to be laying these huge numbers. They play lackadaisical defenses in stretches of basketball games, mainly like third quarters is where they just forget how to play defense. They usually win the games. You see their record straight up. They win games. They're a good team. But ATS-wise, as you also see on your screen, 15, 18, and 1, they're just not a great money-making team. You can make money betting them in certain spots, but overall, you're going to make more money, I feel, in the long term, fading Milwaukee more often than not, especially when they're laying like double digits on the road especially in bad spots. It's not a great spot for Milwaukee. Um, yesterday, my p top play was the Indiana Pacers. Um, we had them against uh, Milwaukee. We've had them against Milwaukee every game this season. Um, they've been a thorn in the side of Milwaukee, so I wasn't surprised at all to see Milwaukee fall flat there. But it's not a great spot for the Bucks On a back end of a back-to-back, -back, after you know losing the game for majority of the game, they did kind of fight back in the end, but... Um, lost in the end, had to leave Indiana, now travel to San Antonio. So a back end of a back-to-back -back with travel. You guys know I hate that spot. And we're laying double digits. Ew. 
Um, it's not a great spot for Milwaukee. Here's the thing. Only two games tonight. This is a TNT game, so I am expecting most of the guys for Milwaukee to play on this back end of a back-to-back. Team for team, player for player, roster for roster, the Milwaukee, the Milwaukee Bucks are head and shoulders the better team. Um, and in my mind, I usually hate laying double digits with this team out on the road, and I usually wouldn't do this in such a terrible spot, but I do think the spot is to take the Bucks, land the points. I think they come in here, take some of their frustration out on San Antonio. Indiana's a really good team. That team has won now five straight. We've known that. We've been on that team a ton this season. Not surprised at all to see Milwaukee fall flat yesterday. Um, but I think they come in here, take care of business, and beat up on a team that they're just head and shoulders better than. The Bucks are not head and shoulders better than Indiana, but they are head and shoulders better than the Spurs. I can see this as a game where Giannis kind of showcases to Wimby a, like a welcome to the NBA type moment. Wouldn't be surprised if Giannis went crazy, had a great game. Um, maybe Damian Lillard bounces back and has a monster game. I really haven't seen him have one of those yet this season. The Bucks, they're a good team. Um, in ATS, they're not a money-making team. But in this spot, kind of like I told you guys a few days ago when the Lakers were laying huge numbers on Charlotte or when, like, the um, – who else was laying like San Antonio was I mean not San Antonio um Phoenix was laying huge numbers on Charlotte like there's gonna be certain spots where these teams blow out bad teams um and I kind of got that feeling tonight I think the Bucks come in here and blow the doors off the Spurs uh let out some frustration so give me Milwaukee laying the nine and a half here in the first game and the second game. Now, this is the game I'm most excited for tonight. I cannot wait to sit back and watch this one. Hey, we got the Denver Chicken Nuggets, man, out on the road facing their Golden State Warriors. Um, the Nuggets are rolling, man. They are. They're starting to heat back up. They're starting to really look like the defending champs of last year. We just saw these two teams play recently on Christmas Day. Um, Nuggets got the win in that one. We were on the Nuggets. It was our top play on Christmas and they failed to cover, man. Um, line was six and a half. They won by six. Golden State got the cover in that basketball game. Uh, the Nuggets have won both meetings between these two teams thus far this season. Both games were in Denver. Um, so really not surprised to see that. Uh, first meeting was 108-105, and the second meeting was 120-114. What do we know about these two teams? I'm just going to break it down simple. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. What do we know about these two teams? Both of these two teams, hoop at the crib. Denver, what do we say about Denver? They go stupid, dummy, crazy at home. Last year, the Golden State Warriors, what did they do? They went stupid, dummy, crazy at home. In this spot tonight, I got to roll with the Warriors with the points in my back pocket, man, or attacking the plus money. Denver's coming off a pretty significant homestand. Um... You know, they did hoop there. Not surprised at all. We were on them in most of those games. The thing is, Golden State is in the middle of a pretty significant homestand. This is going to be their fifth home game in their last six games. So Denver's coming off of one. Golden State's in one. We know Golden State loves to hoop at home. We know Denver on the road is typically where they lose their basketball games. Double revenge spot for Golden State at home. They just won their last game over Orlando. That's a solid win, in my opinion. That's a really solid win. Um, if Golden State is going to fight and get back into the thick of things here in the West, I believe these are the games they have to win, the home games. Um, I kind of see this as a showcase game for the light-skinned man, Golden State, um, Stephen Curry. I don't know why I say Golden State, but I could see this being a um, showcase game for Steph, man. I'm on Golden State, in Golden State tonight. Uh, I am. I am. Double revenge spot at the crib in the middle of a homestand. Nuggets coming off of a pretty significant homestand. We know they typically play their best basketball at the crib and on the road is where they struggle most. They're a 50-50 team out there. Hey, if they're going to give me points in my back pocket with Golden State, I'm going to take them. And I'm going to nine times out of ten attack the plus money as well. But that's what I got for y'all boys tonight, man. Hopefully we smash it. Per usual. And that's going to conclude this episode of my NBA Jam Session. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, man, hey, smash that like button for your god, man. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
And as always, say, if you're rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long, man. There's a link for that in the description below. And of course, I have premium plays over at the site, man, including my NBA play of the day. We've hit seven of our last nine, 32, 18, and two last 52. Just trying to keep the momentum rolling forward, man. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that tune in and watch this video. Let's make some money tonight. Let's smash it per usual. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs, man. See y'all tomorrow. Huge card tomorrow, man. Huge card tomorrow. Y'all know we're going to try to smash it. I'm out of here. Peace.